We now come to Newton's laws of motion and we discuss the third law. So, the third law basically gives us two more things. First, it gives the concept of action reaction, what we call the action reaction pair. And secondly, it gives us the conservation of linear momentum. So, these are the two things that we have in case of a third law. So, these are the two things that we have for third law. The first is the action reaction pair, what we call it, and the second is the conservation of linear momentum. So, now let us first take the action reaction pair and discuss it. Now, the first thing that you need to learn about action and reaction is the fact that they never and never act on the same body. That is very important for us to understand. We have two bodies like this, and if there is a force from here to there, and there will be a force from here to there also. So, if this body is 1 and if this body is 2, then this force is what we call as 1, 2, and this is for 2, 1. Now, what are all about 1, 2 and 2, 1? Now, the force 1, 2 is the force on 1 acting from 2, and from 2, 1, we have the force on 2 acting from 1. Now, in order to show that this action and reaction, if I call this action, I will call this reaction. If I call this as action, I have to call this as reaction. Now, in order to show that they act on two different bodies and they do not cancel out each other, we do the free body diagram, which we call in short the FBD. Now, FBD deals with the bodies separately. So, we have to take one and two separately. And we have to draw the forces on one and two separately. Now, as you can see from this particular figure, that the force acting on body block one is F12. So, I will, for one, I will draw this force as F12. And for the second one, it is F21. So, it is again directionally opposite. Now, according to the third law, these two forces, F12 and F21, well, we can consider them as vectors as they are considering the direction part. So, these two forces are equal and we have an equal sign and opposite and opposite is meant by the minus sign. So, when we say that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, it is true, but again, we have to very importantly remember that this action and reaction act on two different bodies. So, for example, these two forces, the wet and the normal reaction, are not component of Newton's third law. That is, this is not action and reaction. There are actually two forces from two different origins acting on this poor mass. Now, where is this force coming from? This is the attraction force of art on this mass. Where from this normal reaction coming from? It is coming from the table or the block on which this mass is placed. So, you have to understand that mg equal to n is not action-reaction force. Why? Because they act on the same body and they cancel out each other. While F1, F2 and F21 are action-reaction pair. Why? Because they act on two different bodies. And yes, they are equal and opposite but they do not cancel out each other in that sense because they simply act on two different bodies. So, that is the primary concept of third law regarding action and reaction pair, what we need to learn. Now, the second part of conservation of linear momentum is dealt with the mathematical part of the definition of force which says that force is rate of change of momentum. Then we can go on to write the first law in a shorter form as F1 is equal to minus F2. Then we can go on to put this as dt1 dt is equal to minus of dp2 dt. And in that case, we can write it d dt of p1 plus p2 that is equal to 0. So, if p1 p2 is 0, then what we can say that p1 plus p2 has to be a constant. So, that is what we say the conservation of the linear momentum. Now, this is called linear. That is what is very important that linear means you have to either consider it along the positive and negative direction of x-axis or you have to consider it along the positive direction and negative direction of y-axis or you have to consider along the positive and direction of z-axis. So, it is either along x or along y or along z. You cannot go for a conservation one along x and the other along y. So, that is very important aspect of this momentum conservation and as you can see, there are no external force acting on the system which is very important again as the action and reaction act on two different bodies. Hence, for a system, they produce a net force equal to zero, which can be shown by writing F1 plus F2 equal to zero. 
So these two or three things which I think should be discussed separately regarding the third law. First is that the action and reaction, the action and the reaction, they act on separate bodies. They act on separate bodies. Bodies are separate. That is the first point that we need to remember. The second point is that the action and reaction are equal and opposite. So it is F1 minus of F2. And the third thing that we are commenting about is that they result to a momentum, net momentum zero, which we say is conservation of momentum. And finally, they give that F1 plus F2 is equal to zero, which implies that the net force on the system is zero. So these are the primary things or the four things that we remember that from the third law. Thank you. For testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos, log on to www.tubelessons.net.